So as I've said today, we celebrate the feast day of Saint Joachim and Anne, grandparents of, of Jesus. And I could just imagine when they learned that their daughter Mary is pregnant and they're uh, expecting their first grandchild, right? For those who are grandparents here, I'm sure you know the feeling of expecting a grandchild, especially if it's your first, right? So many excitement there. And I could just imagine how, uh, you know, they, they were there to, to help out with, with Mary and Joseph uh, as, as, uh, as they were raising up uh, Jesus and just the quality time that they would spend uh, with their grandson, uh, Jesus, the affection that they have among uh, each other. But in Scripture, there's nothing written about St. Joachim and Anne, okay? We, there's, there's little known facts about them aside from knowing that they exist. And we, already, we only, only know about them from um, apocryphal books, not, 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 in, not in the Scripture, but in uh, oral tradition. But we could get a glimpse of who they are through Mary. They say, you know the tree from their fruit. You know, Mary exemplified this beauty, a lot of beautiful virtues that I'm sure it was passed on to her by her parents. Okay? And I'm reading this from uh, the book Saint of the Day. It says there that we see in her, in her, Mary, a fulfillment of many generations of prayerful persons, herself steeped in the religious traditions of her people. The strong character of Mary in making decisions, her continuous practice of prayer, her devotion to the loss of her faith, her steadiness at moment of crisis, and her devotion to her relatives all indicate a close-knit, loving family that look forward to the next generation even while retaining the best of the past. Joachim and Anne represent that entire quiet series of generations who faithfully perform their duties, practice their faith, and establish an atmosphere for the coming of the Messiah, but remain obscure. You see here the legacy of uh, St. Joachim and Anne and uh, how they were able to teach virtues uh, to Mary. And as grandparents, uh, I know it's so easy to spoil grandchildren, right? But I think the best, the thing okay. that you could really do is, is really teach them to grow in virtue. You know, how to love uh, others, how to forgive, uh, right. and also like really teaching them uh, good habits in life. Because that's what grandchildren will remember of their grandparents. In our first reading today, it says there, these were godly people whose righteous deeds have not been forgotten. Their wealth will remain with their descendants and their inheritance with their children's children. Their glory will never be blotted out. Their bodies are bur bur buried in peace, but their name lives on generation after generation. So reading back again from this book, Saint of the Day, talking about the feast day of Saint Joachim and Anne, this is the feast of grandparents. It reminds grandparents of their responsibility to establish a tone for generations to come. They must make the traditions live and offer them as a promise to little children. But the feast has a message for the younger generation as well. It reminds the young that older people's greater perspective, depth of experience, and appreciation of life's profound rhythms are all part of a wisdom not to be taken lightly or ignored. So we honor St. Joachim and Anne and also the, all the grandparents who are here.